there there must have been such a, a staggering love there. You know, I mean, she must have loved him so much to have to have stayed. I have friends that are in Al-Anon, as do I have friends who are in AA, who have been. I literally don't know where they would be if they if it wasn't for that program. Anytime you play someone who really lived and existed, there's there comes a a big responsibility, and and certainly with with someone who was such an enormous uh, help to so many and, and did such an enormous, wonderful and generous thing with her life and started something that was, was absolutely revolutionary. It was a really wonderful gift. It was, it was a great gift, this role. There's a few scenes where the two of them sort of take off their gloves and really go at each other and say things to each other that that I think stayed with both of them personally forever and and were very brutal especially to say them to Barry Pepper who I love so much who is just one of the most lovely wonderful lovable people that I've, I've ever worked with and um, what a great partner he was to to have on this. I loved the costumes. I loved the. I loved. I loved that way of of um, pass, the passing of time. You know, there's there's reasons for every little detail, and I found that really fascinating. And Trish, our costume designer, was magnificent. I, I mean, first of all, I don't know how she did it. I mean, there was not just me to dress, but there was a cast of characters and, and ba you know, background and day players. I mean, she did an absolutely incredible job. She really had a, an amazing mind for the history of costume, you know, but it, it, I found it very fascinating and wonderful. I loved wearing, I loved wearing those clothes. I really did. <laughs> it was very much, very much a challenge because she did internalize, and and it's hard to place something where you're you're not saying what you're feeling all the time. And I think a lot of that was because she couldn't find the words to say, or she didn't feel like she could use. She didn't feel like she felt like a bad person if she were to say what she was really feeling at that time, and she wanted to be a good person and a good wife and a supportive wife. And so it was a it's very very interesting piece and very, you know very, very heartbreaking in, in a lot of ways. The mo whole motorcycle sequence, which was actually the first day of shooting, and, um, and uh, but that whole sequence was very fun for me, because um, it, it was a real joyous time in their marriage, and um, it showed a real sort of playfulness and a real ad adventurous spirit that they, they, they had in common. That, that sequence really really was fun and, and, and to, to laugh, to, any scene with Barry laughing soberly was really fun to do because it was a genuine laugh that was coming out of him. I think we really got on that way.